Hey guys, Christina here. Uh, and I've lost a hundred pounds. Just kidding. Um, but not kidding. Uh, so you guys, this is my first video and I'm really excited and, uh, nervous kind of, um, because, you know, I don't normally record videos, but, um, <clears throat> I've lost a hundred pounds and I really wanted to start sharing more of my journey. And so this is kind of like video number one. Um, so I kind of don't know where to start. There's like, there's, it's been a long journey. I, well, it's been a short journey actually, because my weight loss journey started in July of 2018. Um, I became keto in uh, October 2018. So that is what I'm going to be talking about, which is how I lost 100 pounds naturally, or that's what uh, ongoingly I'm going to be talking about is my journey and uh, my transformation journey, um, which has uh, involved eating a ketogenic diet, intermittent fasting, and then uh, exercise. Um, but exercise isn't needed if you are on a ketogenic diet to lose weight, um, you know, but, um, I do exercise and so, um, I'll be, you know, sharing more about that, but, um, I don't know. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of background about me and say, hi, mostly I just post, you know, my recipes or, um, gym selfies, but I kind of wanted to go a little bit further and start sharing more. Um, and so what better way to do that than a video? So, um, <clears throat> so I'm really excited. You know, I finally met my, uh, a hundred pound milestone. I'm not to my goal weight. I, I still think I have anywhere from like 25 to, I don't know, potentially 40 pounds. I, I really don't know what my goal is going to be or what it is. Um, but I just reached a hundred pound loss a couple weeks ago. Um, and so this is just really new for me. It's just really new. I'm not used to it. I'm still not to my goals. I'm mentally still kind of catching up and, um, so yeah, I just kind of wanted to start sharing my journey a little bit more and like it's kind of hard to do that when you're just posting photos and writing a paragraph. So um, a little bit about me is I live in Colorado. I've lived here since I was uh, about one years old <clears throat> and um, I live by myself. I'm single. I don't, I've never had kids and um so I, uh, I started keto in October, 2018 and, um, and then, it, and then slowly I got into the intermittent fasting, working my way. Um, intermittent fasting is basically where you eat in a window of time and then you fast. So like I, my first goal was to aim for 16 hours and I worked my way up to that, you know, starting with like 10, 12 moving one hour at a time and it, it took a few weeks. Um, and so now I, it's like a daily, um, it's like a daily goal to try to get to 16 hours, which is like apparently the best, uh, the best amount of time <clears throat> for, uh, metabolic rest and other reasons. Um, but that's the type of stuff I'm going to be talking about, uh, which is, you know, the science behind a ketogenic diet and intermittent fasting as I learn, because I'm not an expert or a professional by any means. Um, but I am enrolled in the, um, the most comprehensive ketogenic, um, program right now, which is exciting. It's by ketogenic.com. It's called a uh, keto mastery, uh, Cert a certification program and it is accredited by NASM. Um, so I'm really excited about that. I'm learning a lot already, but that's the type of stuff I'll be sharing about. And, um, 
you know, I, I might talk about uh, struggles within the transformation, um, you know, uh, within my transformation journey, just because it's, it's not just about what you eat. It's also mental and spiritual. I've had to create like a, um, uh, like a kind of a mental toolbox to turn to when I am struggling. And it's, it's definitely a daily choice. It's been a daily, it's been a moment by moment thing for me. Um, I've, I've overcome, you know, sugar addiction and I'm still dealing with food addiction type behaviors, you know, turning to food for comfort or to calm down or something. And, you know, I'm just kind of learning as I go. I'm not there yet. Um, I might also talk, you know, I might talk about, let's see. Yeah. So I'll talk about the mental and spiritual aspects that I've dealt with. And then, you know, I talk about fashion and fun stuff too, because you know, like when you're smaller, you can actually like, there's a lot more clothing options and it's been really exciting, but I've, I've had to hold back, you know, cause I'm not to my goal weight yet. So I don't, I haven't created a, my, I haven't, um, really built my new closet yet. I've just, I just buy a little bit of clothing here and there as, as needed just because I am losing weight kind of quickly. You know, I lost 85 in the first year from July, 2018 to July, 2019. And then I kind of plateaued for a while. Um, and then I've lost another 15 pounds in August, September, October, or somewhere around there. <clears throat> um, total, I've been on this journey about 17 months. Anyways, I don't want to get this video too long. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be talking about keto, weight loss, food. You know, so just a little, I guess just a little background on what a keto diet is for those of you who don't know. Um, is keto stands for a ketogenic diet and which means your body is burning ketones for energy instead of there's your body either burns glucose which is sugar from carbohydrates or it burns ketones from fat cells um it makes the ketones in your liver <clears throat> and use that for uses that for fuel and the way that you can get your body into ketosis is by eating a very low carbohydrate diet um, between 20 to 50 net carbs a day, and then it puts your body into ketosis and there's an adaptation period. Um, you know, and I might post some videos about this type of stuff. Um, but there's a lot of information out there. I kind of just taught myself as I went along. I just did a lot of online research. Um, in the beginning I did ask my dietitian to calculate my macros for me, which, um, macros are the amount of fat, protein, and um, carbohydrates that you eat per day. Um, I had her help me with that. Um, but now I can do that type of thing myself um, because it's very specific. You can't just eat low carb and eat tons of fat. But <clears throat> a ketogenic diet is low carb, moderate protein, and high fat. And actually, it, it, there's different um, variations of keto. It doesn't, it doesn't, um, you don't have to it depends on what your goal is. If you're maintaining, if you're wanting to lose weight, if you're wanting to build muscle, um, but it is pretty specific and, and it's very like healing and nourishing for your body um, to, you know, like eat a ketogenic diet. Um, so, you know, and then there's different types. There's like vegan keto, carnivore keto, easy keto, dirty keto, clean keto, strict keto. You know, and I've experimented with all of those. Actually, that's not true. I've, I haven't done vegan. Um, and I've only done a little bit of carnivore. But I do, I do keep it pretty clean and strict. But, um, you know, I, I do take advantage of the, the mom and pop companies that have recently come up with ketogenic friendly, easy type grab and go food, um, which has been exciting. Uh, but other than that, I, I, I have created a lifestyle where I cook from scratch a lot. Anyways, I don't know. I, I just wanted to record a video and jump on here and just kind of, you know, get it going and try, I'm going to try to, uh, 
record a video maybe once or twice a week. We'll see. Um, but yeah, you guys, I've lost a hundred pounds. Um, you know, so right now I'm oh, at a weight that I haven't been since I think I was like age 12. Actually, I think I was like 10 or 11 because I was a size 16 in fifth grade and in fifth grade I was 10 or 11 and um, right now I'm a size 14 ish and I'm 32 so it's kind of crazy that's my really loud heater that just turned off so hopefully <laughs> hopefully you guys can hear me um, uh, cause if not, I'd have to record this whole entire video. Um, anyways, yeah. So, I mean, I, I, I was very big since I was a kid and this is all very new to me. Um, and it's exciting and I just want to share it because it's just, you know, natural weight loss is possible and getting rid of your sugar addiction behaviors and craziness is possible. You know, there's no sugar ups and downs on a ketogenic diet because your body always has fat to turn to. And so it's just been, it's just been really exciting and I feel just very in control and I'm never, I don't, I'm not controlled by food anymore. And it's just, it's just exciting. And I just want to be able to share it with people and, and inspire people and motivate people and, um, so that's why I wanted to just jump on here and just kind of show you guys my face and, um, but yeah, I, uh, I think that's all I wanted to say for now. So thank you for following my journey or hit follow if you're not. Um, and I will, uh, I will hope to uh, see you guys around, um, and record, be recording a video soon. Bye.